Hi, I'm Mr. Rococo from Rococo Restaurants, and I'm here at the Culinary Kitchen doing meatloaf cupcakes. This is Chef's Recipe Challenge presented by Culinary Kitchen. Chef's Recipe Challenge is exactly that. One classic recipe, one local chef, with one challenge. Turn that family favorite into a restaurant quality dish. We're here at Culinary Kitchen in Oklahoma City with owner Claude Rappaport. If you're looking to raise the bar on your kitchen experience, Claude and his daughter Lori can help you make that happen. All right, everybody. Dave Cathy, the food dude here with the gentleman from Rococo for our last Chef's Recipe Challenge in this environment. Pretty exciting stuff. Bruce Reinhardt from Rococo. What's going on at Rococo these days? Lots of great stuff. Uh, the cruise line brunch buffet on Sundays is bigger and better than ever. Uh, we rolled out Yappy Hour on the porch on Sunday nights. Bring your pet. Uh, we got treats and all kinds of fun out there. We have a scotch, bourbon, and cigar dinner coming up. Uh, let's see, we rolled out a new vegan menu, lots of different choices there. Uh, some exciting times in the private dining room with the big screen, and uh, a lot of fun. Just creating a lot of great food and a lot of great memories. Speaking of fun, meatloaf, what's more fun than that? You brought it up today. Yep. So tell us a little bit about what you did today. All right, today we did meatloaf cupcakes, and we did a blend of 70-30 ground chuck with equal parts ground pork, plenty of fat. Fat is good when you balanced about it. Uh, roasted peppers and onions, some fresh thyme, oregano, uh, egg. We take panko crumbs as a binder and we soak them in cream. Helps, it, it just lends itself to a real nice texture to the meatloaf. Uh, covered it with ketchup, uh, bacon, baked it off, it was gorgeous. Uh, made some homemade ketchup to garnish it with, had a little salad with a uh, fresh lemon infused olive oil and roasted garlic and some fried onions, pretty plate, it was real nice. Yeah, very good and delicious, but that wasn't the only one. Nope. We had Sam Fitch here, the catering guy there with Coco. So Sam, tell me what's going on with catering and Coco. So Sam Fitch, everyone. And, <laughs> and also on our plate, Sam made some wonderful chicken meatloaves. Uh, they, he did a pesto-infused mashed potato, uh, which topped it. That was the frosting, as I just did a straight-up uh, Idaho mash. Uh, but it was really good. All very good. Have you got anything at all you'd like to say? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sam's doing a great job at catering. Okay, we love this guy, and he's doing an awesome job. So call Sam Fitch for all your catering needs, on site or off site. Um, and we're just thrilled to have him on the team. Wish him a happy anniversary. His anniversary could be this week with uh, Rococo? Uh, two weeks from now. Two weeks from my, now is his anniversary. Year anniversary at Rococo. Yep. Very good. Couldn't be more thrilled to. Gentlemen, thank you very much. You got it. All right, so we did meatloaf cupcakes today. We did two. We did the first one being a beef and pork, uh, ground chuck, 70-30, with some ground pork. Because fat is good, contrary <laughs> to what everyone's trying to tell you, OK? That's right. <laughs> uh, roasted peppers and onions. Careful, it's going to splash a little. I don't know, what is that? Half a tablespoon, maybe? You want to brown that a little so you get some of that sweetness, that nuttiness. See that? That's that's just beautiful right there. And then we got our Philly style peppers and onions. All right, sight, sound, smell. Good stuff. Some fresh thyme, oregano, a little bit of egg, a little bit of panko crumb, with some cream. It gives the meatloaf a real nice texture to it. Saying, let's try a cup. It's about that. And then we're just going to start working this. And I'm going to end up using my hands, okay? They are clean. I washed them thoroughly before we started. We cooked it in muffin tins. So here's our cupcakes. And I'm overfilling them a little because I'm anticipating shrinkage. All right. Uh, coated with some ketchup and some bacon. Obviously, this is going to give it extra flavor. It's going to help get it out of the tin. And it'll crisp up. It'll be nice. Yeah, we can get away with that. And we're going to pop them in the oven. So that's awesome. All right. And once that was done, we garnished it with frosting some whipped potatoes that we piped out to look like frosting. Isn't that adorable? 
I mean, that is adorable. So, meatloaf cupcake. See, finally a cupcake I can get behind. Accompanied that with a mixed green salad, lemon infused olive oil, roasted garlic, and some fried onion strings on top. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and then my culinary director, Sam Fitch, he did a chicken meatloaf. Really good, flavorful, uh, fresh ground chicken, a blend of white and dark meats. And we got our sun-dried tomatoes in there. I've mixed a little salt and pepper in with my eggs. Um, just as Bruce had done earlier, kind of taken our breadcrumbs, soaked them in. I use a little buttermilk for mine instead of just um, straight milk. That's give why that I didn't have enough buttermilk. To, <laughs> <laughs> to give it a little extra flavor in there. So we'll kind of fold that into there. Come back. Everybody loves a little garlic. Get a little garlic in there. Handful of little onions for flavor. And then I come back with a little fresh herbs, a little thyme and some basil. We'll toss in there. And then to kind of add another little moisture and a little fattening agent, uh, some feta cheese. And with the feta cheese, I've kind of toned down. Feta has a pretty good salty saltiness to it. So I don't use as much salt whenever I'm using things like uh, Parmesan or um, feta cheese. And then for his frosting, he did a pesto infused mash that we piped out and we served that all on that one plate. It was gorgeous and tasted great.